birds flying high You know how I feel Sun in the sky You know how I feel Breeze drifting on by You know how I feel It's a new dawn, it's a new day It's a new life for me And I'm feeling good so when that's like the thing you start speaking. No. It's not how it works. <laughs> it's not how that works. How does it work? So practice was an exhibition. Uh, that nobody attended. I was open for a full day and practice was really just showing the sorts of curational, conceptual and creational skill that I had sort of learnt through my time of studying and I was a simple display of that. I'd say that practice was a sort of genuine display of what I could be making in terms of throwing a show, the sort of curational activities of constructing and placing all sorts of hanging techniques, all sorts of display techniques, all mimic the ways in which a fine arts institution would work. On the 30th of April, I had an exhibition called Practice. And Practice was held in Gutwevach, a small town outside of Pickerberg in the Western Cape, South Africa. And it was, not, it was not an exhibition consisting of 10 pieces in a mid-constructed house that a friend of mine's mother was uh, constructing during a time of COVID and I had fled to Kutwevach on the first day of, of the lockdown itself and being a, a contemporary art student and doing a, a three-year contemporary art degree I had learned all sorts of manners of curation, construction and immersive making. Conceptualism too but Due to the fact that I'm a conceptual artist, these sorts of things kind of made themselves in the sense of the sequence at which I was making work at the time. Practice 2, due to it being the second installment, followed the same sort of criteria in terms of intervening with space, in terms of critiquing the white cube and expanding upon this exercise of interventions, public interventions. Working collaboratively compared to working solo, was truly a different experience in terms of expanding the ways in which I had been working with the sort of interventions of space due to the fact that I was also expanding on the authoritative and uh, subjective ways in which I practice my authorship. The exhibition was held on 23 Old Stramfontein Road, Wavecrest. And this was held in a mid-constructed warehouse that on the weekends people use as a car wash space. Other times it's just a land dump. The manner in which we had intervened with the space was pre-constructed artworks that I had done with a collective called Unknown different and MC and we had worked on this project for about two weeks in terms of creating the works itself. These works were sort of template based in terms of them being very, very stereotypical template style works in which they merely intervene with space in terms of the conceptual matter and physical matter however the individual works 
aren't necessarily important. Yes, they are important in the existence in terms of the ways in which they intervene with space, but the sort of value system of the artwork as an individual piece, as an art object, was also critiqued. There was merely the importance of intervening with space that came first in terms of the exhibition's intention. The sorts of inclusion and exclusion that revolved around the art world in terms of all of its periods of time, who was allowed to show work, and the sorts of ways in which space revolves. The removal of objects in space, painting a space white in order to display work effectively. And those sorts of ways in which art has been displayed in, in, in the past is ultimately expanded on by the way that, that I've done it here. The sort of ways in which one can publicly display work intervenes with the systems of flow which was actually happening in that mid-constructed house when I was creating work. And that sort of thing of critiquing the white cube comes with a lot of conceptual acts that have happened in the past such as Dadaism and the materiality of the art object itself. Looking at the materiality of the works that I use, uh, they all have different, they all come in different shapes and sizes and they all intervene within space differently. And by experimenting with those different ways of showing work, I've in a sense explored a lot of manners and the sort of etiquette involved within displaying work. Therefore, practice for me was successful exhibition. Nobody needed to necessarily show up due to the fact that it was just a display of my practice itself. Where is it that you go? Where is it that you go?